Press down. They're tough things, huh? Get the whip. It's the G. 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 Baron got him hitched up here to the cart and we're gonna head down the road to our neighbors and get him some horseshoes Jim will be sharing with you about what he's gonna be doing in a little bit he's gonna just take him down the road for a little jaunt and then I will meet him and we'll oh. go for a ride Funny. Baron's tongue. 
It's like stepping to the beat, moving to the beat. Okay, I expect he'll be fine, but who? Who? If he's not, all you gotta do is jump off. Yep. Tap that. So this is my first time riding with Jim on the cart with Baron. I was a little bit mm, nervous about it, but uh, he's really good and Jim felt it was okay. And like you said, I can jump off. So I'm not sure what Brenda's told you, but- um, Very little. I, so this morning, this is after lunch. This morning I took Baron and Bill and we logged all morning and we pulled out quite a lot of wood actually and he did really well had a lot of energy but this being a monday morning of course he will have energy and uh so um and i could have easily just logged all day but uh, to tell you the truth i was kind of tired i worked pretty hard and uh so i decided that we'll i thought he could still use a little bit more work um baron is like a teenage boy <laughs> um they have a tremendous amount of energy, but yet when they go to work, they tire really fast. But yet after they rest for just a little bit, they're raring to go again. That's the type of, that's the way he is. And uh, so I also, since I worked him hard this morning, I would prefer just giving him work this afternoon so that he knows he's gonna to have to work morning and afternoon. We're just gonna go down to my neighbors and see about getting some shoes. We don't even know if he's there. Um, but that's not even the issue, the, the point. The point is to give him a little work. And so we decided to go for a ride. We finally lost our snow. There's still quite a bit in the woods. Is there? Yeah. Um, well, our poor relatives in Vermont are still loaded with snow down there. But, um, we think of it every year this time of year because we moved up here this time of year and there was no snow up here and there was lots down there. Right. I'm gonna explain something about my whip that I have in my hand. Yep. Um, when I'm using the whip, and I hardly ever use it, but um, when I first started here just a few minutes ago, he was kind of backing up on me, so I decided I'm gonna take the whip with me just in case. And uh, a whip is really handy to have, and like I've showed and shared in other videos, I hardly ever use it. I just kind of tickle the tails with it if they need it. But this whip, I do not want him to see out of the corner of his eye this whip swinging around because it will scare him, and I don't need that at this right this time. Really, don't need it at any time. But uh, so I tend to keep the whip kind of the center of his, of his body. So with the blinders on and whatnot, they, he's not too apt to see this whip. And that's what I'm trying to do at least. So as you can see, when we hitched up, um, I have not attempted to hitch him onto this cart since the last time I showed you guys him being hitched on the cart. And I thought maybe by swapping sides with him on the pole with Bill, he might stand over the step into the shabs a little bit better. And he did, he did okay. Um, fortunately, they're heavy built shabs because he did step on them a little bit, but uh, no harm was done. Um, I had some ideas I was going to do. I was going to cut some, and I still might. I was going to cut some six by sixes and, and actually slide them underneath the shabs so they're up in the air a little bit more. So we had this actually step up and over the shabs to step into place. And that way, if he did step on them, the six by six underneath them would keep them from breaking. Um, and I still may try that at some point when I have more time. But he actually is up fairly good. Um, I thought he at least made an improvement quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like I said, we worked him pretty hard this morning, so he should be a little bit tired, although he still would just soon trot as opposed to walk. And, but, So I know that, like I said, this is Monday, and I know that Andy, our neighbor here, um, tries to stay at home on Monday and work at his place. Um, so I'm hoping that he's home, but we'll see. Andy has helped me on the farm off and on, but not for a while now, because he's busy with his own work. So 
know, I'm not sure if we'll film this, this section of it while we're in his place. Um, but maybe if he doesn't mind, we might. I'm gonna go up to his hitching post and tie him, and then we'll see if he's here. Oh, they have a puppy. Kind of a muddy mess around here also, I see. Everywhere it's muddy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, but you can jump off. I wish I had a place for my whip. I, I should have a whip pocket type of Come thing. here, puppy. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Is it lunchtime? It's two o'clock. Oh. Lost track of time. Why don't you just stay in? Pet okay. him and you can keep it on. Well, I don't see Andy here. Just want to give you a quick shot at his shoes that he has for sale. There's quite a few shoes here. All the small shoes. But I still get them to work for me. The size shoes that I use are, well, I can use these sixes, but I can actually spread these fives out and I'm sure I'm bare and they'll work fine. So just, oh great right there, put my mom. Hope, 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 hope. Cap us out. Cap out. Ha, ha. Oh. You better jump on, but no. Ho, 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 no, ho, 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 no. Ho. Cap stop. Well, I'll have to come back down later. Get some shoes. I thought maybe we'd slap some shoes on this afternoon, but I guess not. I know you want him to be tired, but you already said you were tired, so maybe it's just as well. Mm -hmm. Not that tired. <laughs> So let's go for a little bit more of a jaunt up the roads. How's that? Sounds good. And then when we come back, we'll get him unharnessed. And I want to try something. I haven't done with him yet. And to tell you the truth, I used to do this quite a bit with all my horses. But for quite a few years now, I haven't done it. And, and that's wash them. And I, I do not like to wash my horses a lot. I mean, a lot of people will wash the horses every day. I don't like to do that. I think it dries their hair out so much. They don't have that slick look. Um, they have more dried out hair. So I don't like to do that that much. But in the situation that we're dealing with right now, mud season, um, Baron's legs are all muddy. And then to go shoe them or fool with their feet, it's just not very fun with all that mud crusted on their legs. So. Um, washing a horse takes a little bit to get used to also. So we'll take him over and I've got a hose that I can bring outside that actually we could turn on the warmer water so it's just, you know, lukewarm. So it's not really cold, cold water. And I'm not going to wash this whole body down. At least I don't think I am. 
Um, but I'm going to just concentrate on trying to get some of the dirt off of his legs. Seems a little too cold for to wash his whole body. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he has been walking through cold water, but not his whole body. You yeah. Know? So if I can't do the shoeing on him, so shoeing now, I say shoeing. I was going to put him in the shoeing stocks and get the front shoes on him. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll talk about that if I do it. Um, but one other thing I do need to do is some work in the sawmill. So I'm going to do a little work on my sawmill and do some sawing. Um, soon I've got to saw some fence posts out. Not sure if I'll do that today. I have brown bales to haul. I have manure to spread. We still have that pile of manure by our barn that was from the um, young stock pen that I have not been able to spread yet and I still can't even now. But in the next few days, we're supposed to have cold weather, frozen ground, so I should be able to get that cleaned up and, and get the hay hauled up here to the barn. So. Always lots to do. Yeah, we were just talking this morning about now's the time to do some fence work. So. As you can see, some of my fence posts over there, the square ones. There's one, there's one right there. Those are the posts that I make and they, I'm really happy with them. They make nice posts. Most of my posts I have are still cedar posts, um, but my tamarack posts I kind of like better. They look better and I think they might last longer. Well, and the thing with that is we have tamarack, we don't have cedar, so. Right. So that's awesome. Don't have to buy them. Kind of hoping a car and truck would go by right now just to see what would happen. It's, I'm he's had, glad it hasn't. He's had vehicles go by him before and he's been no problem at all. But not any big vehicles. I was telling Jim, every once in a while on this road, and it happened to me once when I was holding um, Ken and Buck at the gate down there. Uh, uh, you know, 18-wheeler went by and it, it's, it scared them to death. It scares me to death and that's my fear. But, but they, they have gotta, to get used to it. Yeah, they do. We could go down and get a taste of syrup. Oh, that'd be fun. Lady and friends. And there's Kenny. We were so pleased yesterday. Kenny was um, ran into the barn. Ran all the way across the barnyard. Yeah, he's doing so much better. <laughs> all right. Little hothead. And here comes. Um, the syrup rig. Oh. Uncle. Training colts. Oh. Hey, are you mind? Uh, careful. If we come down and get a syrup, you guys boiling? Oh. Hey, what? Are you boiling right now? Uh, we're trying to boil. Are you? <laughs> we just started the arch today. You're going to be gone with the horse. I, I, I'm going to go right up there. Oh. And if I can find a place to time, I'll come out. But if I can't, Brenda will come down. So down below us, there's maple trees, and um, Gail and his brother Jerry have for years gathered sap down there in the spring when the sap runs, and um, they have... It's on, it's on our neighbor's property. Yeah, it's on our neighbor's property. They don't live there, but anyways, they have a um, arch down here, and they boil the sap to make maple syrup and uh, it's where we usually get our syrup from and once a year we usually go down there and say hello and they give us a little taste of syrup which is really nice so we're going to stop by and see what's going on down there let me talk about sugar and a little bit after this car goes by so 
so you guys might be wondering why we don't sugar um, if you've been out with us cutting this firewood out in the, sh out in the maple grove you'll see that we, we could sugar well years ago we did sugar we used to sugar for quite a few years when our kids were small and it was great we just had a small um, we just tapped a few trees I think we had like 300 taps I think we, 400 one time maybe and then we had a, a four by four by eight mm -hmm. evaporator for you guys that know about evaporators and I was wood fired and we did that for quite a few years had buckets and gathered with the horses and uh, it went well um, it just it got to the point where we just had the kids had left they, and so we just didn't have the manpower to do all the things that we have done before so we don't sugar anymore um, I have kind of hoped to get out to some sugar bushes that use horses and I haven't done that yet I'm so hoping to do it this year and it's not going to happen this year but maybe another year I will get to we'll be able to do a little bit of traveling and go to some of the people that we know that actually use horses in their sugar bush but this operation right here is our neighbors and of course they don't use horses but we'll, we'll go and see if they're willing to give us a quick peek Go ahead, do this not and then come on up top after your time. We'll get okay. you a good boil here, but okay. like I say. So this is gonna start boiling here pretty quick, huh? Yeah. I mean you can see you it. Can see now. Yep. Have you ever seen the flame on this? Nope. I don't think so. This uh is burning four and a half gallons an hour. A regular household one might burn 0.9. So this is burning about five times as much as what a house would. And then you can look down in there and you can see where the flows, you can see the bubble, or you can see the uh, flame. I'm not sure if I'm looking in the right, right in here. Yeah. Yeah, you have I to put the right camera. Over. I put the camera in there so maybe they can see. Oh, yeah. Yep. And this is really starting to. Yeah, it's great. I can this see. back here will just get into a roar. It's starting to smell good, guys. Yeah, this here I can is smell it. Already. But you're not planning on drying off for a little while? Mm, no, it'll probably be at least a good hour soon. I'll yep. get you down here sometime when we're actually. Yep. If well, you want to look in here. See, this isn't quite into a boil yet. Uh huh. But when that's boiling, I mean, it'll just yeah. be a roaring boil. Yeah. Well, I was surprised how fast this, when it came in, after it came in, it just started boiling right away. Well, uh, you got a ball of flame down there. Yeah. Yep. When you're when you're boiling a, or when you're throwing in a half a or a five gallon bucket every hour, that's a lot of fuel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's some. Mirrors gone by or time's gone by. Jump on, we'll go down and see. Chuck it, jump on. Here. Step on. Here. Catch that. Let's go see if Chuck it's a boy. You gonna go up that hill? So we're gonna go to the next neighbors. 
Okay, there's another. Yeah, and here's another. We're we're unusual on our road, I guess. This this road is uh, a mile long, probably. And it's about that, one, yeah. two, three, four um, people that are sugaring. It used to be five with us. That's crazy. Well, there's a maple ridge that runs the whole way across the side here, so that's what is going on. It's a little bit of green in the pasture out here. That's <coughs> encouraging. So we're we're gonna make a little visit to our other neighbors that live up up the hill up here. But we're not going to show it unless they want us to. So we're coming down the neighbor's driveway. They are not sugaring this year. Okay. Careful. Oh. He was probably scared of that. Careful. Um, and Jim was saying this is his first holdback situation. Where he's got a holdback going down this. It's a pretty good steep grade here. It may not show, but it is a pretty steep driveway. And he did pretty well. And he stood pretty well while we visited with the neighbors. And like you said, because he was pointed away from the farm, it probably helped a lot in his standing. had to do a lot of waiting around and this has been a, a test in patience for him this afternoon. <laughs> patience and learning to stand are his biggest issues right now. Mm -hmm. and it's amazing actually. I mean, he, still, he just doesn't sweat. <laughs> you ever seen him sweat hard at all? Nope. And his collar is a little bit wet, but still not much. Still walking through darn fast. Mm -hmm. But he's not trotting. Yeah. He's not wasting energy. He's just walking fast. Yeah. So did you say, did I ask you, you want hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? Did I ask you that? No. Oh, I was thinking about asking you. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Real hot chocolate? Sorry, Baron, we're going in the driveway. <laughs> now he starts to prance. Well, he put some miles on him today. Yeah. Never know what Up. 
Oh. Oh. Venga, que era, que era. Time to go see how Baron's gonna do. Get his legs washed. That's what I wanted you to do. Thank Why'd you. I let go? Oh. Yeah. Does it look like a big long snake, Baron? I'd be scared too. Oh. 
stupid thing. Oh, oh. The hose is very unflexible. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so stiff. I know, it's terrible. You want me to try to get his back leg? Nope. Good enough for the first time. Made a lot of progress. So wet hit is so just turns into a muddy mess where the water is yeah. kind of defeats the purpose of the wall. I know.
well, we didn't get quite as much stuff done today as we we're hoping to, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, Baron is still coming along really well. I'm very pleased with his progress. Um, and I will continue to show you how he does as the days and weeks continue. Have a good day.